Hey guys, welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'll be making my Southern Style Mac and Cheese. And welcome to my Thanksgiving edition. Let's get started. Alright, so while I have my macaroni boiling on the stove and salted water, to this bowl right here, I'm going to start adding my ingredients. I'm going to go with my evaporated milk or carnation milk, regular plain milk, my cheese, this is sharp shred cheddar, sharp cheddar <laughs> and this step is very crucial guys your salt and pepper needs to be on point in your custard or your macaroni and cheese is going to be bland so I had to open mine up I'm gonna put my pepper down in here and I like a lot of pepper so that's why I'm using a lot use your own discretion this is my garlic powder optional of course and I'm also going in here with a big dollop of sour cream and this step, I'm doing this first because I want to taste it before I add the eggs in. And after you mix this up really well, taste it to make sure you don't need any more salt. And then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. Now that I've tasted it, everything's good. I'm going to add a whole stick of softened butter down in here. And my eggs down in here. Okay guys, now for the fun part. My noodles are nice and um, al dente. Don't cook them to death. I suggest cooking them the exact um, time on your package or maybe a minute or two less because this is going into the oven for at least an hour. So yeah. I'm using um, sharp cheddar cheese and I'm also using pepper jack cheese. You're just going to load it in there. Don't be scared. Load the cheese in the mac and cheese. That's why it's called mac and cheese. Okay, <laughs> I'm also going to put some more black pepper in here because that's just what I like. And my noodles already are already seasoned, so they're good to go. Now you're just going to take your custard that we made earlier. You're just going to pour it all down in here. And you're going to mix this up really, really well all the cheese, the custard, everybody's swimming. Now you're gonna preset your oven to 350 degrees. I'm going to cover this for about 45 minutes. Well, 40 minutes. Then I'm gonna uncover it, cover the whole entire thing with more shredded cheese, and then let it brown up on top, and then that's it. Y'all see how amazing this looks already, and it's not even topped with cheese yet. So after my 40 minutes, now I'm just going to pile the cheese all over the top. I'm still using mild cheddar. I mean mild and sharp cheddar. You're just gonna pile it, pile it on. Pop it back into the oven so all the cheese can melt. And then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like once it's done. It should take you about 10-15 minutes to melt the cheese and everything comes together. It's nice and browned. And I'll show you all what it looks like. And this is what the mac and cheese looks like straight out the oven. I can't even tell you how perfect this looks in, in real life. <laughs> but I'm going to do my best to get this shot on camera. And yeah, so I'm going to plate it up and let you guys see what it looks like. This is what the mac and cheese looks like. Um, it didn't need a garnish, but I did put it there for my pictures. Um, you can see the cheese leaking out of there. It's nice and cheesy, it's delicious, it's perfectly seasoned. And I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The um, ingredients and amounts will be in my description box and on my website. And I'll see you guys next time on my next video. Okay guys, bye.